To me, flying is never work. Flying is a Zen experience. And even when on my way to a meeting, flying there myself is really always half the fun. I guess you could say that I've always loved aviation. From an early age, my, my first toys were airplanes. I joined the Air Cadets when I was 12 because I figured it would be the fastest way, actually the only way to learn how to fly because we certainly didn't have the money at home. So at 17, I got my wings. And the funny thing about that is I used to have to hitchhike to the airport because that was two years before I even drove a car. To me, flying is freedom. You know, freedom to take your airplane or, or flying my Cessna 150 all the way to the Bahamas when I was 18 or landing my float plane on a lake uh, way up north of Montreal for a weekend camping trip with the family. That's real freedom, that's flying. I look back at my 17 year old self and honestly, to me, it feels like a dream. A dream that's taken me far beyond what I could have ever imagined. First at Canadair and then Bombardier, where I had a hand in the development of some of the world's most successful commercial and business aircraft. And I knew what I was walking in the footsteps of legends. One particular moment I remember as leader of Learjet, where I realized that I was sitting at Bill Lear's desk. In 2005, I landed at CAE, and since I became CEO in 2009, we've grown from being just a manufacturer of simulators to really help make the world a safer place. I'm so excited about new technologies that I believe are going to revolutionize aviation and space. Advanced air mobility, for example, and C is going to play a major role. I can't be prouder of what we've accomplished as a team of 11,000 really fantastically dedicated people around the world. I could have never imagined at 17 where my pass license would take me. And I hope that my story encourages the next generation to get into the industry because I know that the most exciting days in aviation are still ahead. <laughs>